it's amazing because I'm probably the least technological person in the world. But we still rely on it heavily. I think this probably has to extend a little further out. It's made our lives a lot easier out on site from a construction standpoint, because out on the field, it's a big help. The USGA has been tremendously helpful from a resource management standpoint in getting us the, the answers that we need, getting superintendents the answers they need, putting us in touch with different people. So it's a constant web that you're always dealing with that you know the architecture has to mesh with the agronomy. If we design a golf course that's going to emphasize the ground game and the golf course doesn't play firm and fast and you know the superintendent doesn't maintain it that way, then our design has been impacted greatly and it doesn't work. But when with superintendents in, in step with us and how we want to present it, how we want it to play, and that superintendent is in step with the resources that are offered by the USGA through the technological support, through the ability through USGA Green Construction to create firm and fast conditions, and everybody's working on the, off the same page. From an architect's perspective, we're always coming at it from, you know, how do we present a golf course and how does it look, and then how does it play? From the agronomic side, which is part of our business, but we're smart enough to let the experts go down that road. There have been so many technological advances that have helped us out. The, the varieties of grasses that are available now as opposed to even 10 or 15 years ago. So all of these scientists, all of these agronomists are working to create grasses that are looking towards the future from the standpoint of, hey, we realize that we're not going to be able to water as much. We need to create grasses that are going to still provide the quality playing conditions that we expect, and in some cases demand, and do it in a much more sustainable and ecologically friendly way. There are plenty of applications. When you're dealing with fairways and greens, well, that only applies to golf. When you're talking about rough and improved turf grasses, turf-type tall fescues, bluegrasses that are disease-resistant, drought-tolerant, that's great for the entire sports turf industry. So the USGA being a key contributor to that is very, very helpful. Any way we can improve maintenance, make it more ecologically sustainable, make it more economical, more efficient, and yet still present the conditions that are going to be noticed and appreciated by the vast majority of golfers, that's got to be a win for the golf industry.